Have you ever thought about what it takes to construct enormous structures beneath the ocean's surface where the environment is both mysterious and hostile? Underwater construction has evolved into a field of remarkable engineering achievements, featuring structures like tunnels exceeding over 50 kilometers and offshore rigs anchored in deep waters. This specialized construction plays a vital role in energy, transportation, and environmental efforts. However, these projects must endure extreme conditions, intense pressure, low visibility, and strong currents, while maintaining long-term durability. As the demand for underwater infrastructure grows, one question remains. How do engineers overcome these immense challenges to build beneath the ocean surface? Underwater construction has come a long way, evolving from ancient civilization's simple methods to modern feats of engineering that push the boundaries of what's possible beneath the surface. Today, advanced technologies allow us to build massive structures like offshore oil rigs, underwater pipelines, and tunnels that not only function but thrive in this environment. These innovations are critical to industries such as energy and environmental conservation, demonstrating how far we've progressed in overcoming underwater obstacles. The diversity of underwater construction projects is astounding. These include tunnels that stretch across oceans to connect cities, oil rigs that drill deep below the sea floor, and pipelines that transport critical resources between continents. These feats of engineering are not just impressive in scale, they are vital to industries that power our daily lives. Offshore oil platforms extract essential energy resources, while submarine cables enable the high-speed internet we depend on. Even the transport networks, such as underwater tunnels, facilitate the movement of people and goods between countries. Each project plays a critical role in supporting global infrastructure and commerce. Yet, working beneath the waves is no easy task. One of the most pressing challenges is the overwhelming water pressure. The deeper engineers go, the more intense the pressure becomes, placing enormous stress on the structures they build. Visibility is also a constant battle, as murky waters and silt make it hard for workers to see clearly. Currents add another layer of complexity, making even the smallest tasks more difficult by constantly shifting the environment. Add to this the issue of material degradation. Salt water and other marine elements can quickly corrode structures if the wrong materials are used. So, what groundbreaking techniques do engineers use to construct these underwater marvels? The first step in any underwater construction is the site survey. This involves a careful assessment of the seabed, ensuring there are no obstacles such as large rocks, shipwrecks, or unpredictable geological formations that could interfere with the project. In some cases, sonar technology or submersible drones are used to conduct detailed scans of the underwater terrain, providing engineers with highly accurate data. Geological surveys also provide crucial information about the topography, helping engineers design a stable and effective foundation that can endure both water pressure and shifting sediments. Once the site is prepared and leveled, foundations are laid using various techniques like piling, caissons, and cofferdams. Piling involves driving long columns into the seabed, creating a stable base for larger structures like bridges or platforms. These piles are made from robust materials like steel or reinforced concrete, designed to withstand both the immense pressures of the water and the corrosive effects of salt water. The piles are driven deep into the seabed using specialized machinery, ensuring the structure remains stable even in areas prone to strong currents or waves. Caissons, on the other hand, are watertight boxes that are lowered into place and filled with concrete, providing a secure foundation even in deep water. These massive structures, often constructed onshore, are floated to the construction site before being submerged and anchored to the seabed. The caissons ensure the weight of the structure is distributed evenly, reducing the risk of settlement or collapse. 
Cofferdams create a temporary barrier to keep water out of the construction area, allowing workers to operate in a dry environment. This method is particularly useful when building bridge piers or repairing existing underwater structures. Once the foundation is in place, the construction of the actual structure begins. One of the most critical techniques used in this phase is underwater welding. This specialized process requires divers to work in challenging conditions, using waterproof equipment to join metal components. Welding underwater is not only dangerous, but also demands precision, as even the smallest mistakes can compromise the integrity of the structure. Workers utilize sophisticated tools like wet welding rods and waterproof enclosures to fuse steel components, often while contending with poor visibility and strong currents. To ensure that everything remains watertight, special waterproofing methods are employed, such as sealing joints with grout or specialized sealants designed to resist the harsh marine environment. This ensures that no water seeps into the joints, which could cause long-term damage or compromise the structure's stability. After construction, maintenance becomes another crucial aspect of underwater construction. Since these structures are constantly exposed to corrosive saltwater, regular inspections are necessary to prevent damage. Remotely operated vehicles, ROVs, are frequently used for this purpose. These underwater robots, equipped with high-definition cameras and sensors, can dive to great depths and perform detailed inspections of the structures, capturing real-time data that engineers analyze for signs of wear or damage. By using ROVs, engineers can detect any issues early and perform repairs before they become catastrophic. In cases where damage is found, divers may be deployed to carry out repairs, such as underwater welding or concrete patching. This process often involves the use of specialized tools, like pneumatic hammers or underwater grinders, which allow workers to repair damage even in challenging conditions. In just a moment, we'll reveal one of the most daring engineering feats ever attempted. Japan's Seikan Tunnel, a project that overcame seemingly impossible challenges beneath the ocean. But first, how would you like to watch our videos ad-free for just $2 a month? Or get access to exclusive content for $10? For $17, you can pitch topics and get your name in the credits. Join our premium community at patreon.com slash theimpossiblebuild. And if you're just here for something free, grab our U.S. military billion dollar blunders video at theimpossiblebuild.org slash billion dollar blunders. Both links are in the description below. One of the most famous examples of underwater construction is the Seikan Tunnel in Japan. Spanning 53.85 kilometers with 23.3 kilometers lying beneath the Sugaru Strait and reaching a depth of 240 meters, this tunnel is the world's longest undersea tunnel. It connects the islands of Honshu and Hokkaido, providing a vital transportation link between them. Its construction faced immense challenges, particularly the fact that the tunnel was built in an earthquake-prone area. Engineers used advanced drilling and blasting techniques, reinforced by nearly 2,900 tons of explosives, to carve through both dry land and seabed. Steel reinforcements and concrete were used to stabilize the structure, ensuring that it could withstand the seismic activity in the region. Modern innovations are continuously improving the field of underwater construction. Robots and submersibles have revolutionized the way we approach deep sea projects. These machines can go where humans cannot, diving to extreme depths and operating in environments that would be too dangerous for divers. They are equipped with state-of-the-art cameras, sensors, and even robotic arms, allowing them to perform tasks such as laying pipes, inspecting structures, and even conducting repairs. Autonomous Underwater Vehicles AUVs, which operate without real-time human control, are also playing an increasing role in site surveys and maintenance. New materials have also made underwater construction more resilient, Traditional materials like concrete and steel are still widely used, but they are now reinforced with modern additives that improve their resistance to corrosion and pressure. 
For instance, polymer modified concrete is gaining popularity due to its enhanced durability in underwater environments. These materials are specifically designed to endure the harsh conditions of the deep sea, ensuring that structures remain intact for decades, if not centuries. Environmental care is another priority in underwater construction. The marine environment is fragile, and construction activities can have a significant impact on the ecosystems that exist there. Engineers must take steps to minimize this impact using techniques such as sediment control to prevent disturbing marine habitats. Noise pollution from construction activities, particularly pile driving, can also be harmful to marine mammals like whales and dolphins. In some cases, bubble curtains are used to dampen the sound and reduce its impact on marine life. Safety measures for workers are equally important. Working underwater is inherently dangerous, with risks such as drowning, decompression sickness, and equipment failure. Divers undergo extensive training to ensure they can operate safely in these conditions. They must also follow strict protocols, including monitoring their air supply and descending slowly to avoid decompression sickness. For those working in pressurized environments, such as caissons, the risk of decompression sickness is even greater, and proper decompression procedures must be followed to protect their health. Underwater construction is a field that continues to push the boundaries of what is possible. With innovations in robotics, materials, and environmental care, the future of building beneath the waves looks bright. The potential applications are endless, from creating new energy infrastructure to exploring the possibility of underwater cities. As we continue to explore the depths of our oceans, the advancements made in this field will pave the way for even greater achievements. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications for more insightful content.